So on this time we will, we will use uh, we will choose new exam. Now it's better to input at, at least basic dates, uh, data. Uh, for example, male uh, height about one hundred thirty, uh, and birth gender. We're good. And the birth date, um, because some normal values uh, are connected to the these parameters. So uh, here we can, we choose motor conduction velocity. Today we will uh, do mediators nerve conduction velocity. So we can from the beginning choose right hand. Uh, no. From that moment, uh, we can see the main window of our EMG examination. First of all, uh, we need to, we will illustrate the application of the electrodes. So we will, uh, must take, first of all, we can applicate the ground electrode. So we, we wet it with uh, physiological solution. So you can uh, really use it on, at the same extremity or other, it's for uh, nerve conduction study, it really doesn't matter. Ideally, it's, uh, it must be between registration and stimulation, for example, but it's uh, possible in other places too. Then we will uh, use alcohol to swab up skin and it will be decreased impedance so we use it okay so we swap up the skin uh, and then we will as, as i said we will applicate it for medial nerve conduction studies. So we will uh, set registration electrode. Uh, it, it will be two electrodes, one active electrode or E1. Uh, we, uh, we set it at the thinner eminence. It's a muscle belly of the abductor pollicis brevis. And the second uh, electrodes is reference electrodes. We set and the thumb. All uh, usually, uh, basically, we can uh, all motor conduction studies we set at the first channel. We have the cable with the first channel. We will use uh, alligator clips for that. So black alligator it's an active electrode and red it's a reference it e2 so we said then uh, at the same time as we can uh, from the beginning it's more ergonomic to set uh, sensor electrodes we can use for median nerve we can use second or third finger uh, active electrodes we set at the midway of the proximal phalanx and uh, reference electrodes about four th uh, four centimeters distally so uh, you can see a uh, registration electrode for motor conduction velocity, for sensor conduction velocity, ground electrode. Stimulation we will produce with, uh, today we st st stimulate a bar electrode. Uh, also it's possible to, uh, some doctors prefer to use adjustable probe with, which uh, let you to control uh, different parameters from the probe. But we will use classical and we will uh, develop EMG examination from the mostly from keyboard, but it's also possible from the laptop screen too. 
Okay, so we we need to wet stimulation electrodes, uh, and uh, prepare. We find uh, tendon of the palmar muscle, and near that we registrate it. Uh, it's about it must be about ten eight centimeters from the. Uh, recording electrode usually. Yeah. So we uh, apply the electrodes with minus more distally. It's cathode electrode, so it must be active electrodes up to uh, minus electrode. About distance must be uh, about seven, eight centimeters. So from the, uh, that moment, we can uh, start stimulation. So we can, yeah. I will share the screen. Also, as Mikhail said, you can use uh, for, for basic probes, help screen, but it doesn't. Move. And you can see the position of recording and stimulation electrodes as we uh, said the same. So we can start. Uh, when we started the window of motor conduction velocity, you can see where we registered. It's medianus nerve, it's a right hand. Uh, and basically, for uh, motor, uh, motor conduction velocity, we have these parameters. So it's, uh, we can choose them, appropriate parameters. So it is intensity and duration of the stimuli. Uh, so mostly in nerve conduction study, we will get answers at about from 10 to up to 30 milliamps intensity. Uh, we, you can use uh, duration 1 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 milliseconds. Uh, you can start from this. We can uh, decrease or increase intensity stimulation with uh, this uh, thing. And also duration, it's also possible control by a dedicated keyboard. So you, uh, we use uh, from motor conduction velocity, single pulse stimulation. So we can, uh, at first we start monitoring you can see we uh, have a very good curve. If um, patients start to tangier, tangier, we can see motor units, potentials. So relax, please. And that, so it's a very good curve without any uh, physiological or technical noises. So, and, and uh, doctors who works a lot usually can understand often uh, the bad impedance from the monitor and because uh, uh, good impedance will be a very good curve, but we check impedance this time from here or from the uh, keyboard. It's not very good really, but for motor conduction velocity, it's, uh, it's possible, but also we can uh, wet it a little electrodes and it will be uh, a little wetted. And we also good set answers. Okay, for motor conduction velocity, it's okay. So we can start stimulation. It's a single pulse stimulation. We start. We can start about from uh, from different patients from uh, five to up to ten milliamps. For example, we start from eight. We don't see any answers. We can increase stimulation and intensity. Oops. Yes, it will last to find it. We can even decrease. Uh, we we gradually increase of stimulation and uh, so we increase the stimulation up to uh, 
answer will be the same after increasing. For example, we increase it up to 20 persons. It will be the same. Also, uh, it's okay for us and we, you can see the, the same time, the F wave, which we will illustrate later. So it's okay. Uh, uh, the first, it's a big, good answer. Uh, amplitude, uh, it's about even very high amplitude, 17 milli, millivolts. Uh, and it's, you can see in a classical uh, configuration of uh, conduction motor action potential. Uh, it's, it, it has two waves, uh, program automatically set markers. Uh, so what we uh, mostly analyze with motor conduction velocity, it's uh, onset latency and uh, positive peak amplitude. So between markers. So it's a risk stimulation. Uh, we need to take the marker pen and set the point of the stimulation. Uh, also, uh, this point we will use for other methods. We can, we can measure the distance from the beginning. And as I said, median nerve, we measure this manner at, at the 80 uh, millimeters like this. So it's okay. So uh, we registered first. From, uh, then we can register the second point. Uh, it will be elbow point. Uh, it, it will be some uh, medial to the biceps, biceps tendon. So we can start even from the same current. Uh, and really we need to uh, get almost the same answer. No, it's okay because uh, uh, decreasing of amplitude very small uh, in process. So we, we can uh, marker the point. After that, we will measure distance again. Uh, measure it, it, it will be 24 centimeters. And you can, you can see it was the line position. Very uh, close to the median parameters. So uh, you can see really it's very like the first configuration of the um, uh, compound mass action potentials. It looks the same because, and you can see it's better. It's uh, almost all my nerves and muscles have their classical shape and configuration. So for example, if we will stimulate it some more close to the ulnar nerve, you can see uh, it will be some another shape. If we will use big, no, really, it's very <laughs> good. Because, but uh, if we, uh, if answer will, will change the, uh, their configuration, for example, it will be maybe you get uh, additional answer from other nerves, for example, from our uh, ulnar nerve. So here we have. Uh, two answers and uh, basically you can use two points or some doctors uh, and for some uh, purposes add some more uh, additional stimulations. For example, if as we, you can see it again, uh, you can up to five points of stimulation and additionally you can use uh, palmar stimulations for, for example, for carpal tunnel syndrome. So now uh, you can see uh, good answers really uh, when answers bigger than uh, 
median parameters, it's not a problem, it's okay. We can see absolutely normal velocity uh, and normal uh, residual latent latency, latency, which uh, connected with most distal parameters of the nerve. Uh, 